In the late 18 and early 1900s, three generations of the same family created a yacht design dynasty. I'm with 19 owners and their five design yachts, who have sailed them back to their birthplace in Western Scotland. Many have crossed oceans to be here. I'm here to get inside this world and really understand and appreciate why the five designs enjoy such a legacy. Today the yachts will leave Fairley, the home of Fife, and head off to the Isle of Butte. I'm joining the old French crew on Viola, built in 1908. Since 10 years, the same crew. 10 years. Bonjour, bonjour. bonjour. For the last 17 years, Viola has been in the hands of French shoe designer Yvonne Rautereau. Many famous names walk in his shoes. I think she's a, a piece of art, okay, like a, a violin, a viola a violin, a fantastic design. Okay, we take pleasure with this uh, old lady. It's exciting to be here, but I'm feeling a little apprehensive. The weather forecast is for winds to be approaching gale force later in the day. Conditions that would force today's America's Cup racing to be cancelled. But there is no talk of the 105-year-old Viola turning back. Well, it's pretty breezy. We're only a couple of minutes from the start. We've got more sail. There's, there's rope everywhere. It's a really powerful boat. We're going to have a great day out. Viola is in her original specification. Every manoeuvre is a real hands-on affair. It was a great start. We've got about an 11 mile sail to Rossi. I'm glad I'm not driving. It looks quite hard to steer downwind in these waves. Two hands pulling the tiller. But we're really performing. We're passing all the other boats, it's great. And most of those we are passing are much younger. <laughs> what do you love about, about this? Days like today, racing the other. Everybody is lots of people here, this is a wonderful friend. You come here, this is the first woman to come on the boat to the viola. It's a round. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm the first woman on viola. That, <laughs> in 105 years, that can't be true. That cannot be true. <laughs> There is a real feeling of friendship and Lacey Fair on board. As sailing goes, this is as pure as it gets. Out here, we really could be back in 1908, when Viola had her first sea trials. Do you know what happened to her? What her, what her history was? Yes, you know, uh, first of all, uh, I am the number 13 keeper of the boat, you know. Before me, there were 12 different owners and keepers. And she was very lucky because everyone loved her and take care of her. So it's the reason why she's still alive. I like that you use the words keeper, not, yeah, not owner. Not, yeah. No, because you know, with a boat, you don't own a boat. You are owned by a boat, okay? <laughs> and there will be after me a number 14 or number 15. To see this place, this water, where she was born, okay, was uh, something very, uh, very strong for her. Yeah. As we talk, Viola makes the odd creak and groan. Threatening clouds are unleashing much more wind. Viola is handling it all well. Others out here are struggling. It's rolling their boat a lot. Huh? It is now a very different sort of day. But despite being over 100 years old, the crew push Viola really hard. <laughs> My laughter is genuine, but I'm just a little bit apprehensive. Have you ever, you know, on the side? No. Uh. <laughs> it seems a very wild day to be out here sailing a 105-year-old yacht. As we head into Building C, Viola slices through the waves much more comfortable and secure than many modern boats that have sailed. It's out in weather like this, and not reading a book or going to a museum, that you really find out what William Fife was all about. It's been a really exciting day. 
I'm not sure this boat's ever sailed in quite so much wind. We've reached maximum speed. It's, you feel safe though, you feel secure, and she's still, she's still going really well. It's been great fun. The great crew, they obviously have fantastic friends, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. When I first saw Viola, she was a feast for the eyes, a piece of history. For me, she is an awful lot more than that now. When it got easy, they gave me the helm. It's really hard though, I'm two hands on the tiller to keep it sort of in a straight line. I have a lot of respect for you, she did a great job. The boat I sail now, it has hydraulic. <laughs> We asked a lot of this beautiful vintage yacht today, and she really took care of us. Never once made us doubt her. Today was an experience that really did touch my soul. I feel like we have crossed an ocean. Oh, yes. And we're <laughs> arriving. Yeah. Gale force winds, big waves, and we're just about to get into the Ross Bay here. It's been an incredible day. And a very old lady, but she's, she's looked after us beautifully. It's a day I'll never forget. Oh! <laughs> Bravo, well done! <laughs> She's a good boat, huh? The race was over. I've no idea where we finished. But I'm not sure if I've enjoyed a day on the water more. And that, I suppose, was what William Fife was out to achieve. <laughs>